Our agent calls us and tells us about it, and you know, we go like, Elvis Presley, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, why? I mean, our sounds are so different. And, but, and then we got all this, they must have sent 200 albums for us to learn Elvis's material. We looked at that stuff and said, is he kidding? No. We're background singers, we can pick that up like that. <laughs> So we were totally unprepared. But I later learned that we were not Elvis's first choice anyway. <laughs> um, the group called The Blossoms, who were background singers for Tom Jones, he asked them first, because he had worked with them, because they're in some of his movies, you know, the, they, and they were in his 68 special, that's The Blossoms. And they were busy with Tom Jones. I said, no way. What in the name of God are we going to sing with Elvis? He's a blue suede sugar, and we're, we're singing, um, I need, you know, it's a whole different thing, you know. We, I, we didn't know what we could do for Elvis, but Elvis had something in mind. It was magical when it happened, but when we went to Vegas, came to Vegas, when we saw what he wanted to do, you know, having the flavor of gospel in our sound, and the other group that he was using, they were, they were males, but they were a gospel group. And then he had these rock and roll musicians. And then in back of that, he had a whole orchestra. Then we could figure out what he was doing. <laughs> but he had this whole thing in mind from the start, but we just weren't aware. And, but the moment he walked into that first rehearsal, I mean, if we thought, what are we gonna do with Elvis? Then we thought, there's a lot I can do with him. <laughs> he was just gorgeous. He was absolutely gorgeous. And he was just a, a gentleman. He just walked over and gave us a kiss like, like he knew us, you know. It was just wonderful, wonderful. You know, I'd heard stuff like Hound Dog, and you know, I hadn't heard all of his music. And I still haven't seen his movies, but, um, I didn't know what an incredible voice he had because I had heard stuff that was silly, like hound dog, you know, you ain't nothing but that. What does that mean? <laughs> <You know? laughs> and I had heard Love Me Tender, but um, I wasn't that impressed. I mean, you know, he's a good singer and he moves great. On, but um, when, you, when I actually heard him live singing, even at that first rehearsal, I was blown away. And then, um, then I started listening to Elvis, and then I could see what all the hoopla was about. <laughs>